I was excited. I, I was really tired because the night before we got time on the GBT, but that just kind of made me get full of energy. Lucas Goliard was one of the students who started the PSC with us last year. And he was a freshman and he is really active in looking at plots. He's looked at loads and loads of these diagnostic plots. It made me feel really good about myself because I thought, hey, I discovered something this big. It's, it's a big deal. A pulsar is the um, compact remains of a massive star after it's ended its life as a supernova. They, they will collapse down to form um, a neutron star, which is about, has about the mass of the sun. It's the, it's the core of the star now. This neutron star is uh, born spinning very rapidly, so you have something that's uh, the size of a city, the mass of the sun, at nuclear density spinning incredibly rapidly. It also has an incredibly large magnetic field, and that's how we detect it uh, with radio telescopes. Well, I first learned about the Pulsar Search Laboratory when my friend Jack told me that an astronomer from, um, Green, from the Green Bank Telescope was coming to talk to us. Well, the Pulsar Search Laboratory is a project funded by the National Science Foundation and it's a collaboration between NRAO and WBU. And the idea of the project is to provide a means to get West Virginia high school students interested in science. And the way we do that is we get them looking at pulsar search data. So these students in West Virginia actually have the chance to look at real data from the largest telescope in the United States, from the Green Bank Telescope, and they have the chance to make the first discoveries of brand new objects of pulsars and transient sources. The Pulsar Research Collaboratory is an amazing opportunity for students to take part in scientific research and they can see science at work and it's been a wonderful opportunity. The student involvement has been wonderful. As of a year ago I wouldn't have even thought about wanting to become an astronomer but this has kind of given me second thoughts. Getting to use the world's largest uh, fully movable telescope was really exciting because I know how much money it costs to operate it. Lucas is one of the most enthusiastic students in, in the PSC. Um, he's one of these uh, youngsters that never gives up. Um, he's very, uh, very persistent and has all the attributes uh, that a good scientist should have. My friends were really excited because they think I've got to be famous and everything. Usually Mara does the talking and I, I just... I'll start off doing the talking and then... Or you, wait, I'll, I mean... I'll have the last one.